All right, welcome back to our dog kennel or pet store project. In our last video, we created a simple dog class that had attributes to represent the characteristics of the dog, like its name, and we, then we did a getter and setter so that we could either retrieve an attribute's value or change the attribute's value, and we did a simple two-string method. Um, now we're gonna create a kennel class that we're going to use our dog class in. So we're going to go file new window and I'm just going to adjust the window here for a second to fit my frame. And then in this project we're going to say def oh, excuse me. Um, we'll need to import the dog class and this is similar to importing the time or random class that you've done in other projects so we're going to say from dog import dog and what this means is that we from the dog file that we named small case dog py we're going to import the dog class which is capital dog some files may have more than one class and therefore you could use the asterisk to import all of them at one time. Alright, so then after we import the dog class, we're going to use it in our um, kennel class. And so we might want to say def kennel and we're going to pass in the dog class to our method kennel. And in this class, we're going to, I mean, in this method, we're going to create an instance of our dog. So we're going to say pet1 is equal to dog, and his name is going to be spot. And you remember we only have one attribute that we can pass in. And then I can go ahead and print pet1. And since um, kennel is our basically our main method, we're, we need to call kennel. So we're going to say kennel open and close parentheses. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And um, we'll save it first, and we'll just name the file kennel.py. And you can see a mistake that we have here, where it says kennel takes exactly one argument, but zero is given. So what that means is that when we called kennel, we did not pass in any arguments, but when we define kennel, we asked for dog. So we are going to go ahead and pass in dog and rerun this. And here you can see it prints out the phrase my name is spot. So what's happening here? We created an instance of dog and we passed in the parameter spot, which is the pet's name. So here in our definition of our dog, when we initialize the class, it takes one variable name. And then be what happened is because of the, now we want to print out our dog and it's going to use the string method in the dog class. And if we look in our string method, it's going to print the f my name is and concatenate the attribute of the dog name. And so we get, oops, excuse me. We get the phrase, my name is spot. So what happens if we want to add, um, let's say a method, the dog can speak. So let's go back to our class and we're going to add a method def speak and we'll pass in self again and when the dog speaks we'll just say we'll return 
the string wolf wolf. Okay, so if we want to use this method or call it, let's say before we print out, we want to call um, the dog, we want to print out the message um, speak. So we're going to say, um, we'll just type in pet one dot speak. And so we're associating the object, which is pet one, with the method speak, and we do this through dot notation, and you can see the dot there, which separates the object with the method that we want. So let's go ahead and run this. And it says dog attribute, dog has no attribute speak. Um, so let's see, we have the method speak and we want to return the string wolf wolf, so that seems to be good. I'm just checking my notes here. Let's see if I have an example that I've missed. Um, let's try saving it. So let's go file save. And then let's go back to our class and run it again. And now it seemed to work f fine, but we still have not gotten it to print out speak. So let's do this. Let's put a print statement around it. And there we can see that it prints out wolf wolf and my name is spot. So there's a couple of common mistakes that you might have when you're trying to work with classes. Um, one is that we need to call the method um, and we need to make sure that when we add a method it, we save the file first. And then another one is that um, just because we call the method doesn't mean it's going to print out for us. We do need to pass it in that method call in as a parameter to the print statement. Um, other things we can do, let's try to use our getters and setters. Let's say we want to change the name of the dog. Um, so we can say um, pet one dot set name and now we want to change it to Harry. And then let's go ahead and print the name Harry out again. I mean, we'll print the pet out again and see that the name has changed. And now you can see that first it prints Wolf Wolf, and then it prints the name of Spot, and then it changes the name and prints Harry. All right, so that's it for this video. And next time we are going to add more attributes to our pet spot.